All right, so the next tool that we want to, that I want to talk about is, is your BNG. Now this is one of the, the staples of a pest control operator. If you go online and you look up pest control applicator, some pictures of it, you usually see somebody holding one of these. These are very valuable to use. You can use them on the outside of a property. You can also use them on the inside. Primarily, you would never use a backpack inside. They drip too much. They cause too much of a mess. And so this would be the, the answer to that, making sure you use this on the inside of the home. I'm going to put some gloves on, to this, on for this one so that I can uh, take it apart and show you the kind of the inner workings of it uh, so that we don't, um, so at least that if we're having challenges with it, we can get that resolved. With, with one of these, a challenge that a lot of technicians have is it plugs up pretty easy. And the reason why is that at the end of the nozzle, see if we can get this here for you, you have a lot of different settings. The bigger opening is so you can put a straw in there. You can do a crack and crevice application. You've got a fine spray and a coarse spray, and you've got a pin stream. So you can see the openings are pretty small. In fact, this one kind of looks like it's already blocked up a little bit. But uh, because the holes are so small, there's a tendency for them to get plugged up. And so agitating the tank often and making sure there isn't any built up chemical at the bottom of this that gets hard and crusty is going to be one of those things that makes it more effective. In the event that it does get plugged up, there's a couple of things that you can do to, to resolve that. You just take this top off here. You can see there's a rubber grommet in here. Please do not forget to double check that you have that. Once you lose that rubber grommet or that uh, o-ring right there, you will it'll leak. It'll leak out around the edges here. So keep make sure that that's in place. Um, from the back side, you can see how it funnels in towards the end there. What you would do is, is you'd run some water through there, kind of loosen that up a little bit. I find success if I take a piece of copper mesh, something like this, and just like a needle, you just kind of thread it through one of the openings, and you kind of work it back and forth a little bit. That usually will clean it up. Remember, this is brass, and so you do that too many times, you're going to find that, that the spray pattern is going to be affected, right? And so I'm going to get this working properly. I'll show you a spray pattern with it and that way you can see how it works. Many times during the winter time we'll, we'll use this. We'll keep this in our truck because as it freezes or as you're driving around in the winter time up here in Connecticut it gets really cold and so equipment in the back of the truck tends to freeze especially your backpacks and so we'll actually we'll take those off in the winter time and you'll solely use this as an application tool. The challenge is that if this wand is full of liquid and it freezes it'll split. So you keep this in the cab of your truck. If you're concerned about spraying yourself, you put a glove over that. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty straightforward uh, application tool, same as the, the backpack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to operate this and I'm gonna put this on the ground. Is that all right, John? Okay. So what will happen with this is, I'm gonna show you the inside of it. All you do is there's a spring load, it's spring loaded right underneath here. You just push down on it and that's how you unlock it so you can pump it. Right, so you put under pressure, pushing it up and down, and then when you're ready to use it, lock it down and turn it to turn it clockwise. And when you're ready to take it apart, open it to fill it with water or put your chemical in there. You just turn it to the left or counterclockwise. Let the air escape out of that hole right there. Once it does, open it all the way up and pull it out. So what you have is you've got a pump system here where it'll allow air to come in. You can push it out that way. It's got a grommet on the bottom so the air doesn't come back up again. Um, a common thing to do is you'll want to clean this out pretty often. There is a, a siphon tube in here just to the right, directly below the hose. You might not be able to see that in there, but if you get a brush in there and you're trying to clean that out, you'll break that off, so you've got to be really careful. Another thing that we found that if you leave this under pressure in the back of a truck in the winter time, uh, that the liquid will actually expand and break that inside as well. And so make sure that there's no pressure in this, make sure it stays warm in the cab of your truck, you take it in at the end of the day. Generally, you won't have any problems with these B&Gs. They are really good pieces of equipment. They last for a long time if you take good care of them. Pretty straightforward to use. Just make sure that before you go into a property or into somebody's home to do an application, you check your spray and make sure that's clean. You got a good fan spray or else it'll be dripping all over the place. You'll be over applying or under applying and it just won't look very professional. So that's your B&G.